Well, what a great week it was last week. I mean, um, for the trades of the week, I normally go through some of the daily charts and uh, some of those, which have been ticking along fine, to be honest with you. But really this week, uh, or last week rather, on Trend Signal, it's been an absolutely storming week on the snipers. And just to go through a little bit about the trades that we go through here and what we're looking for and really what gets into the track record, what we're looking for, we look at 16 different markets. Now, I appreciate there's a lot of markets, you know, not everybody can follow 16, but just to give a broad range of eight different FX pairs, four different indices, four different commodities, so a good broad range of results over a good combination of markets. What we're looking for is every single sniper trade that meets this particular criteria between the hours of seven and four. Now, Trade, trend signal is not just about day trading. We can hold trade-off daily charts, longer-term charts, no problem at all. But those of you interested in day trading, this is really what it's all about. Looking at this chart here, see how we're gone from red to green here? We're looking for the indicator to turn from green, a uh, red, to green here. As low as possible, below that 25. See the 25 number there? Turning from red to green. Get the sniper circle pop in here. I then need to see the vector average change as well. Pretty weak candlestick here, but nonetheless, this fits the criteria here. So we're waiting for these three indicators. Vector average turned from red to green. Waiting for the sniper circle with the green outline. And also the trend signal line at the bottom, turning from red to green from below 25. It tells me I've got an oversold market. Buyers coming in and that big visual stimulus of the sniper telling me that now markets are looking to lift higher. So here's my entry there, 133.24, give or take. Now, last week, taking every trade across those markets, looking for a simple 20-point target, we picked up over 500 points last week. So how does that work? Well, 133.24, all I'm looking for is for 44. Let's look at this trade. This is from this morning. So this is Monday morning, just looking for 44. Market hit that target, that big old spike there just after 11 o'clock. So up to 44. It's my target up to this cursor here. Why 20? Because it just seems to work. And it's really simple too. As far as the stop loss is concerned, we're just putting a stop loss below where the market's been. So we take our lowest point. See this candlestick here? The low there was a 133.14. So let's put a stop in at, say, 13. Okay? So we've got a risk of about 10 points. And I'm targeting up to 20 points. Now, the risk reward's going to vary depending on the market, where the stop loss is and so on. But that's it. Target at 20 points, stop below the low if we're going long, and then looking for those three indicators. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Last week, we had quite a lot of trades, but in total, it was over 500 points up, just taking every single setup like that on the markets that we follow. And they're the main markets, your Euro dollars, your Sterling dollars, your FTSEs, your DAX, your S&Ps, your gold, all of these big major markets that we're looking for for that basic, simple strategy. 500 points last week. Started off relatively slow, about 80 points for the first couple of days, about 40 points on Wednesday, very quiet. And then, of course, uh, Thursday came in, which was a fantastic day. 15 trades on uh, Thursday of last week, uh, 12 winners, 3 losers, up 185 points. And then on Friday, you know, a good, a good 150 points or so as well. So over 500 points for the week. Great week, even given the narrow ranges that we've been experiencing uh, for this, uh, this August so far. So all in all, if you're looking for simple framework to help you get into trades, and if you want that confidence to be able to get in but that the visual sniper circle can give you, and you want support to help you get those results, then have a look at the Trend Signal website. Maybe book yourself in for a webinar. Maybe come on board as a customer. This Trend Signal software is working. It's helping people to trade. It's all about the training, the education to help make this strategy a reality. It's not complicated. It's just a question of following what we teach. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.